Hey guys, this is going to be a really short one. A lot of you use Retrobrite as a way to restore yellowed plastics. I'll admit, the results can be fantastic, but it comes with some risks and some severe irreversible damage if done incorrectly. Retrobrite is speculated to cause plastic to become more brittle than it already is, as it chemically reacts with the plastic. Some people claim that Retrobrite is only a temporary fix and that plastics re-yellow again. Whether this has to do with the Retrobrite itself, or environmental reasons, I'm not sure. I can't find it anymore, but there was an excellent article I read a few years back with microscope images of plastics before and after treatment, showing the plastic was notably etched and eroded by the Retrobriting process, which I wasn't really keen on. While I fully respect other opinions and methods of restoration and greatly admire their results, my stance has always been to repair only what's necessary while keeping the device in as original and unmodified condition as possible. While I certainly appreciate and enjoy watching restorers who bring devices back to brand new condition, it just isn't my thing for my own projects. Usually, I'm satisfied to leave a small amount of yellowing, but sometimes the yellowing is bad enough to characterize it as damage versus just character. After a lot of reading, I came across people who have successfully de-yellowed their plastics using just sunlight, so I decided to give that a try. And I must admit, the claims didn't disappoint. Now, make sure you adjust your expectations. This is a very low-risk, low-effort approach, so don't expect Retrobrite-like results. This method will not fully de-yellow plastics, but it takes a substantial amount of the harsh yellowing out. Even the Mac SE, which did not have significant yellowing to begin with, showed notable improvements. I left this housing outside for about a week in the middle of summer, and the results are staggering. When compared to another beige housing I have, this one is much closer than the brown color it was originally. A few things to mention though. Make sure you monitor the sun angle and rotate so the plastics receive a somewhat e even treatment. Also, the largest results come first. The improvement decreases exponentially over time, and by a week's worth of treatment, I stop seeing significant improvements. The first few days definitely had the most noticeable improvements. The benefits of sun bleaching over Retrobrite are basically less time, less effort, less risk. If you're just looking to improve badly yellowed plastic, this could be an excellent solution for you. If you're looking for a solution to restore the original color to your plastics, you're probably going to want to stick to other Retrobrite solutions. For me, I'm satisfied with these results and will continue to use this method on badly yellowed plastics. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Leave a comment below to tell me what you think or whether you've tried this method before and what your results were. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.